Rika Rockstar one here. I'm here to make this video on those who have this particular Chromebook. Oh, and by the way, by the time I'm filming this, it's December 25th. But by the time you're watching this, who knows when it is. But point is, you're looking for that security bit screw for this model Chromebook. This is the CB3-131 uh, series. Now, by the time I finish making this video, I will no longer be the owner of this Chromebook because I just got a brand new one. I featured in my Christmas video on my other channel, so if you want to check that out, feel free to. I'll have a link in the description. But for this video, I'm going to show you where that security bit screw is on this model Chromebook. You need to take out these uh, 11 screws. Sometimes there are extras underneath the feet, but this one does not have that, which is nice. Although I need to mention a few things. Some Chromebooks, whether it being Acer, Dell, HP, Lenovo, Asus, or any company, some of them will have a removable SSD, others will not. Unfortunately, this one sadly does not. I wish it did. Acer, what were you thinking? Well, you can do better than that, is what I'm saying. I don't mean to disrespect Acer, because Acer makes the best products, in my opinion. I have uh, two Acer Windows uh, laptops and uh, one brand new Acer Chromebook, which I'll feature in another video, in case you want to check it out. But I have these eight screws removed, just three more, and then I'll show you where that uh, one uh, uh, security bit screw is, and no order to put Windows 10 or Linux on here. I'd go for Linux, but it's your choice. Just choose carefully. Okay, I put the uh, 11 screws to the side. Sorry about that jump cut. I needed to talk to someone in the meantime, so sorry about that. But once you get those screws out, you can easily pop off the case. Some of them, uh, you would need a prying tool. This one doesn't really need it because the tabs uh, have been loosened from time to time. Another thing I need to warn you, the uh, right side has an extra circuit board. So let's go ahead and disconnect this guy just to make sure we don't screw up. And lovely, the uh, Chromebook turned on. Let's disconnect the battery. There we go. To remove the battery, you need to take out these two screws. I'll show you the insides here. These are the speakers right here. They're pretty good speakers. You, to disconnect it, you could disconnect this guy. To disconnect the uh, trackpad, you disconnect this guy. The keyboard is this one, or maybe the other two. This is the Wi-Fi card. And right, as you can see, the black screw right here, that is your security screw that's going to prevent you from installing other stuff. To get access to it, you need to remove it like that. And as for this, you put it to the side. I, you could throw it away, you can put it somewhere else. My advice is if you're gonna sell it and want to put Chrome OS back onto it, although it'd pretty much be pointless these days for some devices, then the decision is yours. I'm not gonna tell you what I would recommend because honestly, I don't know what I'd recommend. Unfortunately, as I said, if you wanted to add more SSD space, you would take out the SSD and swap it with a bigger one. Just be sure to reinstall Chrome OS on it. But another thing I need to mention you need to uh, check to see if it's removable or not. This one, unfortunately, it's all soldered to the board. I wish you could have removed the SSD. I probably would have kept this one and uh, swapped the SSD for a bigger one. Hey, sir, why didn't you make the SSD removable? Disk, disk. Anyway, that gives you an idea of how to uh, find the security bit screw. I'm actually going to put this screw back in because I'm going to send this off to a family member and they probably want Chrome OS on it. But if they want me to hack it and put Linux on it, maybe I'll do that in the future. I don't know if they want that or not. Well, they're a Windows user. So, yeah, running Windows on this guy, not sure. They're probably going to I'm not sure what they'll do with it, but I'm going to have to do a jump cut because this part's really tricky, so give me a moment. 
Sorry about that other jump cut as well. I needed to grab the charger to the Chromebook. If your Chromebook does not turn on and uh, you disconnect the battery and reconnect and you try everything, try plugging in the charger that you got with it. That will fix it. It's an easy fix. Just thought I'd let you know. And anyway, thanks for watching this uh, video on where the security bit screw. Hopefully if you have this model Chromebook, this will help. I'm not going to do the Windows 10 uh, installation. I was only showing you where the security bit screw is, so hopefully that's good enough for you. If you want someone else to do the part where you install Windows 10 or Linux on this guy, you can make your own video or do some research and stuff. Thanks for watching.